it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Look what I've got today. <laughs> I've got my <clears throat> medium-sized silver bowl out, not the big bowl. But in this bowl are the ingredients for a 1970s dessert. Well, 1970s, 1980s. Uh, and all the ingredients are in here. These are all you need. It's very easy, simple to put together, and today you don't want to miss it because we're going retro, baby. We're going retro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Retro. Okie doke. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me. You guys are awesome. Hey, listen, if you're new here, welcome. If you're back, you're a brave soul. I admire you. <laughs> so don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new, and go ahead and share this video. And if you don't like the video, hit the dislike button because, I don't know, I think the algorithm reads it all the same. I'm not sure. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, these are the ingredients that you need for this dessert. This is just a fruit fluff. Uh, you can make this out of any canned fruit you like. Um, all of these ingredients came from Aldi, including the Jeff Puff Marshmallows. So you're going to need a couple cups of miniature marshmallows, whatever brand you want. You're going to need a small box of vanilla instant pudding, but you can use whatever flavor you like, get creative, and a can of fruit. I happen to have fruit cocktail here. It doesn't matter whether it's in heavy syrup, in its own juice, it, honestly it doesn't make any difference. You can use crushed pineapple, just use whatever you like. This, I think this is like 90 cents at Aldi. So, and I've got some whipped topping. This is the frozen whipped topping. We're going to use the whole, whole thing. <laughs> All right. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our fruit. This happens to be the pop top, handy dandy. Some people don't like fruit cocktail. They just, some people don't. Um... I don't mind it. I'm good with it. Uh, and don't drain your fruit. Just leave it as is. Now we're going to put in the box of pudding. This pudding costs 37 cents at Aldi, by the way. I think it used to be 34, but 37, still pretty good. We're not going to complain. You know, there's this old saying, Ain't no sense in wishing that luck will change your fate. God provides the fishes, but you got to dig the bait. <laughs> Don't forget it. <laughs> All right. Vanilla pudding. Use whatever flavor you like. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Although I have to confess, I've never used this with chocolate. But hey, whatever. Whatever traps your trigger. All right. Now all you're going to do, you're just going to... Stir the pudding into the fruit. They were so generous. They put in a half of a maraschino cherry in there. That's awesome. As a kid, um, we used to pick out the maraschino cherries, and my mother would get aggravated. <laughs> she would. She would just get so aggravated. You can make this with um, mandarin oranges, honestly, whatever you like. All right. Doesn't that look very sad, that one with a big cherry in here? It looks very sad. It looks lonely. All right. This is going to go in the refrigerator. You can see that it's already setting up, but I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator. And um, then we're going to add our next two ingredients okay all right be right back 
Okie dokie. <clears throat> now, I want to explain. That this has been chilled, but I want to explain to you why I did that. My fruit was not cold. If you put your can of fruit in the refrigerator and let it chill, then you can skip the step of putting this in the refrigerator. The reason I did that is because I didn't want to put the cold whip topping in on the warm pudding and fruit mixture because it would loosen up the topping. Does that make sense to you? Okay. So, now we're going to put the topping into the into the fruit and pudding mixture. This is just so hard. <laughs> okay. So we're going to just fold that in until it is completely mixed. Or as close to being completely mixed as we can get. I can't get over that one little half of maraschino cherry in there. I just can't get over it. I'm surprised I didn't just pick it out and eat it. I could have. <laughs> so, that's all we're going to do. We're just going to get this all mixed up together and fold it in. So I'm going to do that, and you really don't need to see me do that, right? Okay, <clears throat> it should look like that. It's all folded in. Now then, if you want to, you can crush up the fruit, like crushed pineapple or whatever, but if you, if you think you want to crush this up, go ahead. So I've got about two cups of miniature marshmallows here and I'm going to fold those in as well. I call this a dessert but honestly I've seen this served just with the regular meal. This is great to have at picnics. It's something you can whip up pretty quickly from pantry items and you can uh, bring this to a picnic, bring it to a potluck, a family get together, I'm telling you, there's bound to be somebody at that soiree who likes fruit fluff. I'm just saying. So, now we're going to put this back in the refrigerator, but first of all I'm going to put it in a container. The container that I'm going to keep it in. <clears throat> and you can see this, this makes quite a bit. But it's easy to double or triple. You can do whatever you want. Very easy to make. Years and years ago, I used to work at a restaurant and um, I did salads and worked um, and set up the salad bar, etc. And um, honestly, these types of dessert were very, or dishes, were very popular on a salad bar. And they're easy to make, they're pretty quick, and uh, there's all kinds of ways to do this. Sometimes you can do this with jello, but honestly the pudding is really nice, makes it creamy. It's awesome. So that's all you do. I'm going to grab a spoon really quick, even though the marshmallows are not soft yet. Real easy, easy to make, and it lasts, it holds up, because it's made with pudding. Mm. Now the marshmallows are firm, but you know what? They will soften all up, and this is fluffy, it's really, really nice, and honest to goodness, easy to make. And don't forget, I made them with all the ingredients. Okay? All right. That's it. Fruit fluff. <laughs> okay. I hope you give this a try. Take a retro trip back to the 70s, back to the 80s. And I bet some of you 
your mom or grandma made this. I just bet you. Put in the comments below if you had this growing up or if you've ever made it. And be sure to put in the comments any um, uh, versions of this uh, fluff dish that you have ever made. Okay? All right, listen, I love you guys. You know I do. And as always, little is much when God is in it. Make this and bring it to your next picnic. They'll love ya. Picnic season is here. All right, I love ya. Bye-bye.